Well, now let's listen to this ahead of the November 2nd election. It's the first week of early voting across our state here in Texas and CW 39 Sydney Simone has some great information. She's joining us live from the Harris County precinct, one of the ones that's open and more on what early voting has in store for you if you plan on voting Sydney. Good morning, Sharon. I'm here at Valen Park Community Center, one of the early voting locations in Harris County. In fact, there are over 100 locations in this area. Now, to avoid long lines on Election Day or issues with your mail-in ballot, officials recommend that you go ahead and vote early this year. Now, let's go ahead and talk about some of these propositions on the ballot that people should want to know about. One of the biggest issues on this year's ballot are the eight proposed amendments to the Texas State Constitution. Last hour, we talked about the first four propositions. Now let's briefly discuss the last four, starting with Proposition 5. This proposition simply authorizes the Texas State Commission on Judicial Conduct to accept and investigate complaints and reports against candidates running for state judicial office. Proposition 6, this one would allow people living in long-term care facilities to designate an essential caregiver for in-person visits without restrictions. This is another proposition that came up as a result of the COVID-19 numbers. Now switching over to Proposition 7, in simple terms, this says voters will determine whether surviving spouses of disabled people can receive limitations on the amount of property taxes they pay on their homesteads provided that they were age 55 or older when their partner died. And lastly, Proposition 8. This proposition closely aligns with 7, except this measure would amend the Texas Constitution to authorize a total residence homestead property tax exemption for a surviving spouse of a member of the armed services, quote, who was killed or fatally injured in the line of duty, end quote. Now listen up, the last day to apply for a mail-in ballot is October 22nd. However, it must be postmarked by 7 p.m. on election day for it to count and received by elections office by 5 p.m. on the first day following election night. More than 700 polling places are scheduled to be open on election day and you can cast your ballot through October 29th. Otherwise, you will have to wait until election day, which is Tuesday, November 2nd. Now we do have this information on our website, CW39.com. There you will find a link that will take you to a website where you can go ahead and put in your information. That information will show you where you can go in your area to cast your ballot. Reporting live, Sydney Simone, CW39, Houston. Sydney.